This year, America's oldest and largest outdoor musical theater celebrates its 100th season. And here from the Muni is Director of Marketing and Communications, Kofi Coleman. Welcome, Kofi. Hi. So glad you're here. And you, so 100 years, and you've been at Muni for like 20% of that, right? Yeah, I have. <laughs> um, yeah, I started there as an usher when I was 16, which was uh, 20 years ago. And I've had a bunch of jobs there, but it's been a, it's been a great time. So did you ever imagine when you were 16 that you'd make a career there? You know, when I was 16, no. I mean, I, I you know, I grew up knowing what the Muni was. I was, I came a couple times as a kid, you know, mm -hmm. to see shows, but no, I wasn't, I wasn't a kid that was in theater or anything like that. So it was, it was a job. My, honestly, my older sister worked there, you know, so it was a, a job that we could go to together in the evening. And yeah. Uh, yeah, it turned into a career, but no, 20 years ago, I did not have the foresight. Yeah, but like, so have you pretty much consistently been there or did you take a break for school or did you uh, keep working there? No, I, well, I've been there for every season, every summer. Mm -hmm. um, I, went to, I went to St. Louis U High, so yeah. I was in the, in the area for, yeah. during high school. College, I went to college in Atlanta, but mm -hmm. I came home in the summers. Right, um, of course, Came yeah. home for the summer season. You know, it's, there's a thing about the Muni, I think, that once it kind of gets into your blood, um, you, you just don't leave. Yeah. Um, you know, so I, I couldn't imagine... Uh, I don't know what else I would do in the summer. This is just what I've known in yeah, summer. Yeah, so, that's awesome. And I've been so, there full time since I yeah, was there. Yeah, so for 20 years, <clears throat> so you've seen some change, sure. but nothing like perhaps the changes over the 100 years, but there's a, been a lot about the community that really has been very consistent. The location, for one thing. Yeah, yeah, there's, there are a bunch of actually great pictures in the hallway there from um, when they chose where the stage would be, and it's between these two giant oak trees, and um, one of them is still there. So to your point, yeah, location's been the same. Um, and I think beyond that, you know, what it, the relationship that the Muni has with the community has been, uh, it's, it's been pretty much the same. If you look back, when you turn 100, there's this great thing that happens that uh, there's all this nostalgia and people come back and you've, there have been some great articles in the Post. Our mm -hmm. history has been retold a lot recently. Mm -hmm. And what is nice is that you come to know that, you know, we read these quotes about the foundation and, and from audience members in, in, its, in our earliest years, and they very much echo what we hear now. So um, that place of being represented in the community and across, in a you know, cross-section of people coming together uh, has, has been the same for a century. Yeah, so you guys have been gearing up for this 100th season for how long? Honestly, so we, we started, I mean, I guess some could say for 100 years, but really in the office, I can say that right around the 94th, 95th season, you know, you start to think, and it's, it's everything from when you're, when we're picking shows, right, to mm -hmm. say, okay, these, these will do these X amount of shows, these shows in the next five years. Mm -hmm. um, take Meet Me in St. Louis, for example, right? We closed the season with Meet Me in St. Louis. So the last time we did it, we knew that we weren't going to do it in between then, you mm -hmm. know, because that's a show that certainly belongs to the season. So... You know, from, from so you that knew kind of so a few years ago they said Mimi in St. Louis needs to be at our hundred season. Right. So that right. was sort of pinpointed for that. Okay. Right. So you so you give it a gap to make sure that mm -hmm. that you know there'll be some some breath between the last time you've done that show and now. But everything from uh, you know the season and, and you know community events, things that are going on. This is a great exhibit. Uh, that the History Museum will open June 9th, mm -hmm. and we've been working with them for a couple of years on that. Really? So you know it's been. You only turn 100 once, so yeah. you, you, so you, you kind of want to do everything that you can. Exactly. That so this exhibit at the History Museum, will it be costumes and props and things like that? or? Yes. It, it's, um, uh, I, wanna, I don't want to say a little bit. It's a lot of everything. Yeah. I, I've been really lucky to get to sit in on some of those planning meetings. That, obviously, everybody knows the History Museum team is incredible. What yeah. the, the exhibits that they put on there uh, are really fascinating, and it's neat to see uh, our own history, our own lives there. So there are, you know, there are the dem live demos of, of how sets come together or, d or learning a dance number. Uh, there's a lot of history there, you know, just the foundation uh, of where this place came from and the, and the, the motivations behind it. So it's a, it's a true walk through the history of the Muni, but it's also a great peek behind uh, backstage. What, mm -hmm. what I think a lot of people don't know is what really it takes to produce seven 
musicals on that scale in such a short window. Yeah. You know, each show has 11 days of rehearsal. So the exhibit also does a really great job to give people um, a peek behind the proverbial curtain. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, there's so much more too that I know you guys are doing. We're gonna talk about that in just a minute. So we're gonna take a quick break right now, but we'll have much more with the, on the Muni 100 season after this break. Stay with us for more STL Live.